A MacBook fresh out of the box is like a five star kitchen with no utensils. It's powerful, beautiful, and also kind of useless without the right tools. Well, in this video, I'll show you the essential accessories from the latest charging tech to a game changing way to store all your files, and they'll all turn your MacBook into a productivity powerhouse. Let's start with a bunch of things that will keep your MacBook looking awesome. And you may have noticed that my Mac is looking pretty different from the usual slabs of aluminium that you see around most coffee shops. This is a D brand skin. They've got loads to choose from on their site. And as you may have seen from my other videos, I cover most of my devices in them. This particular one is their Seabreeze option from their palettes collection. And I think it looks stunning, especially with my current wallpaper. Now, these skins aren't gonna stop your MacBook getting smashed or scraped if you drop it from a height but they will guard against damage from being scratched whether they're in bags or from oils on your greasy little fingers which is more than can be said for the state of my macbook keys ish yeah sorry you had to see that in terms of grime and smudges one of the most annoying things about the design of the macbook is that you can't really open it without getting fingerprints all over the area where your webcam sits which means you're going to be wanting to keep this stuff handy it's called whoosh and it's a screen cleaner that's designed to get your screen looking just like new again it doesn't just get it clean but it also makes it less likely that your screen will get covered in fingerprints the next time round. one final thought in terms of protecting your precious macbook you probably have got a decent backpack but i'm quite a fan of keeping something minimal around as well when you just need your macbook and maybe one or two other items well, i've tried a few options out but i keep coming back to this defender brief from tom talk if you've been watching the channel for a while you'll know i've actually had this for years it's designed specifically for this laptop so it will fit like a glove plus it's got a couple of extra pockets here for my other accessories and my ipad mini too if I'm just out for the day, this is enough for me to keep everything together that I need to get some work done. Next up, let's talk about storage. And if you're using any Apple device, it won't be long until you see one of these messages appear and they want you to start paying for one of their storage plans, which can really start to add up. Well, this one is for you. This is Ugreen's NAS. They come in lots of different sizes, but this two bay option is the DXP2800. Now, if you've never heard of a NAS before, it stands for Network Attached Storage. And it's like having your own Dropbox or Google Drive, but faster, bigger, and without any of the monthly fees. And because it's network attached, as long as it's connected, you know exactly where it is, and you can access your data from anywhere in the world. And this particular one will give you up to 64 terabytes of space. That's enough for 22 million photos, 67 million files, or 43,000 films. I use it to back up all my YouTube project files, and it's been a dream to work with. Having used a different NAS provider, for a few years now I can safely say the Ugreen NAS is so much easier to set up you just pop in your drives hook it up to your Wi-Fi router and then you're off there's no special tools or faffing around needed and if setting up your own cloud server just sounds like too much hassle trust me they have designed this to be super beginner friendly with their UGOS app once you've installed that you can access your files from any device, whether it's a laptop or even a smart TV. Now with this HDMI port, you can even have this act as your own personal media server and stream 4K content directly, as well as enjoying lightning fast transfers with this 2.5 gigabit ethernet port. Now it's not just about speed and space though. Ugreen's latest NAS series have all got a built-in AI that automatically sorts out your photos by recognizing faces, places, and even pets. So if you're looking for that one beach photo from 2019, in a sea of selfies, no problem. Do you know what my favorite thing is though? Because these things are designed to run 24 seven, they can get really clogged up with dust. So that makes them really hard to clean without special tools. Well, Ugreen have thought of that and added a magnetic dust cover that you can just pop off whenever it needs a wipe. Brilliant. This beast of a NAS is available on Amazon and Ugreen's official website at the link below. And thanks to them for sponsoring this video. When you're out and about with your MacBook, you'll be wanting a compact, fast charger because no one has got time for slow charging these days. And if you're running a laptop, you'll probably want something that's about 10,000 milliamp hours as a minimum. Well, this one fits in your hand, weighs less than a can of Coke, and it packs a massive 25,000 milliamp hours into this tiny form. It'll churn out a 
100 watt charging for charging up your MacBook and even lets you charge up to three devices at once using USB-C or USB-A. It's kind of amazing how much innovation has been going on in the charging space lately. I've been using eNew chargers for years. This one came out a few years ago. It has the same battery capacity and speed as the new one, but just look at the difference in size. They've trademarked this new technology and that lets them shrink down the size of the battery, but without compromising on speed or capacity. Pretty cool. Oh, and the best thing, this lanyard cable is hiding a USB-C connector, so you don't have to worry about carrying an extra cable around with you either. Even if my MacBook is completely dead, this thing will charge it up 1.3 times over, which is more than I need for a heavy day of usage when I'm out and about. Back into office mode now, and the next few options are all designed to help you make the most of your MacBook when you're at a desk setup. First of all, you've got this Infinity Max laptop stand from Banks. I've also had this for a few years now, but you can barely tell because it's built like a tank. You can adjust it to a bunch of angles, even completely vertical like this. And then once it's in place, it's going at absolutely nowhere. When it's not in use, it just falls down pretty much flat for storing away. So I sometimes use my MacBook in just this setup with a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse connected. By the way, just lately, I've been loving the Kick 75 from Newfie and I pair it with my trusty Logitech MX Master 3S. But if you really wanna level things up, you're gonna be wanting to hook your MacBook up to a monitor. Now, the obvious choice for a MacBook monitor is Apple's Studio Display, which I often find myself gazing at most days as my studio buddy, Sarah, uses it. She's a professional photographer and that kind of makes sense for her as she needs super high accuracy colors for her work. I decided not to go down this route for a few reasons, but one of them was price. I just couldn't justify dropping 1500 pounds or dollars on a monitor that runs on old IPS panel technology, even if it is quite a lovely thing to have on your desk. So although I've been eyeing up a few OLED monitors lately, Asus, I'm looking at you. The one I'm still using is the Alogic Clarity Monitor. It's not a very well known brand here in the UK. I think they're from Australia, but it was one of the only ones that I could find that had a very studio display like build, including a glossy panel, not matte like most monitors in this area. It's a crisp 27 inch 4K display. And yeah, it's a third of the price of the studio display. Plus it gives you height adjust and tilt and swivel, unlike Apple's option, which I still can't believe you have to pay more for. Now, although this monitor lets you hook up to a MacBook with a single USB cable that delivers power, as well as carrying the signal for video and audio, I run everything through this massive dock from Ivanki. This is their Max One Fusion dock, and yeah, it's a bit of a monster, both in terms of size and also weight. Just look at the power brick, for example. And also it is pretty pricey at around $400. And for that, it'll give you the ability to run up to four displays, yeah. That is full blown Batman in the Batcave levels of nerdery. Plus you get 20 ports of connectivity, including USB-C and A ports galore, 2.5 gigabit ethernet, HDMI, and also SD, TF card slots, all helpfully located so that once your MacBook is in clamshell mode, you can just hook up whatever devices you need to the dock, rather than having to faff around trying to get to your MacBook ports. Now the downside of this setup is that if your Mac is in clamshell mode, you can't access the webcam for video calls, which is fine because the webcam in this M1 Max edition from 2021 is pretty average. You can always use a phone in continuity camera mode, which can give pretty decent results. But right now I'm using this little webcam from Opspot. This is their latest model, the Tiny 2. And for such a little thing, it's absolutely packed with features. That includes a massive one and a half inch CMOS sensor to let in loads of light, full 4K video, AI tracking and zoom, which can be controlled by your hands. It's got a special whiteboard mode, desk view, and lots more. Plus this handy voice activated privacy mode. Watch this. Bye tiny. That's pretty cool, right? Okay, last up. And you might have thought I'd forgotten about this one, but I do think it's a great accessory, especially for a MacBook. And it's the iPad mini. Whether you're out and about or sat at a desk, I think this is a great companion for your Mac. You can use it for taking notes, even checking and signing documents when you're working using AirPlay. And then perhaps this is more of a content creator use case, but I regularly use mine as a second display using Sidecar. This comes in really handy when I'm editing in Final Cut away from my desk, as I can have this run my video output while I use the space on my MacBook display as the full editing timeline. I still maintain that no one needs an iPad, but as a friendly little friend for your Mac, 
yeah, you just can't beat it. So folks, those were my must have accessories to transform your MacBook into a complete productivity monster. I've left links to everything, including some discount codes that I've negotiated with these brands all down in the description. Now, I'm interested to know which of these was your favorite and was there anything important that I might have missed? Just let me know down in the comments. And meanwhile, if you've got a new MacBook, you'll be wanting to level up the way it works with some awesome new apps. Well, here's my pick of the very best and some of them are even free. See you next time.